Hi, I'm Charlie and I'm going to show you how you can make your own model hand based on NASA's robot, Robonaut. This is Robonaut. It's a dexterous humanoid robot, which means it looks like a human and moves like one too. It's designed to help astronauts in space to perform dangerous tasks or repetitive tasks that might be difficult for astronauts to do. Whilst in space wearing a big spacesuit, astronauts can find it difficult to hold on to things and move things around. This robot can help with some of those tasks in space. To make our model robot hand, you will need some card, but not too thick, a pen or a pencil to make the outline of your hand, some paper straws, some wool or some string, some sticky tape, some scissors, and if you have it, a plastic needle. This will really help when threading your fingers. First thing you need to do is to draw around your hand. I've then mark this out with a felt tip pen to make it easier when I start cutting it. Around all of your fingers and make sure they're nice and big and clear and easy to see and give yourself a little gap between each of those fingers ready to cut it out. The next thing you need to do is to cut this out. Use safety scissors or you might need an adult to help you with this. I made sure I had quite thin card. The thicker the card, the more difficult it is to cut. So just be careful when you choose which piece of card to use for your robot hand. Hello robot hand, now it's time to add some joints. To mark these out, you'll need three for each of your fingers and two for your thumb. I drew lines on with a pencil on each of the points where I was going to add my joint. Once you've marked all these on nice and clearly across each of the fingers, you'll then need to fold these across. You can use your nail or if you have a straight line ruler, you might want to use that to make sure it's really accurate. Bend them back. And once it's ready, we're now ready to add the joints. To do this, you will need your paper straws. I checked these against my finger to make sure I didn't make them too big. You need to make sure that the fingers will be able to bend back nice and easily. Mark these on with my pencil. Put these on in the right place. You'll need three for each of the fingers, two for the thumbs, and then you'll need one in the palm of the hand for each of the fingers and one for the thumb as well. Now be careful when you cut these, the pieces of straw tended to ping off all over the place. But just be careful they don't fly off. Once you've got those, you need to attach them to your hand. I used a little bit of sticky tape for this. Make sure it's nice and strong. You might want to add a couple of pieces to make sure it doesn't move too much. Put each of them on between the folds that you added for each of the joints. And you're nearly ready to get your finger to move. Next thing we need is some string, or I use some sparkly wool for mine. Cut it to about the right length, and this is a top tip. If you have a plastic needle or something similar, then use that to thread it through, otherwise it's really difficult to get the string through each of those pieces of straw. This made the job super easy. Once you thread it through, thread it through each of the pieces of straw right down to the bottom, being careful not to knot it around the finger. Once it's all untangled, pull it through and you need to attach to the back of the thumb a little bit of wool so that it's ready to go. This is the first finger. If you pull now, you should see that it bends in each of those folds that you made. You have your first robot finger. You need to repeat this for all of your fingers and you should have a robot hat that looks like this. At this point, check each of the fingers. You might need to add a little bit of sticky tape to each of the fingers if you feel any of them are coming apart. You should be able to pull each finger separately to get your robot hand to move. And if any of them don't move properly, just fold them down again. There we go. Again. And there you have your robot hand. I hope you enjoy making it. Love to see yours. You might even want to decorate them as well. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.